Well, well, well. <laughs> Look who's back. Matt Heath joins us now. Matt, we saw you there, literally nearly <laughs> dying with excitement. Are you back on board with rugby now? I am. I was thinking about my negative comments about rugby while I was mm -hmm. commentating and I couldn't even watch. My heart was beating so fast. I was looking around <laughs> for a defibrillator. It was probably the most exciting thing I'd ever seen in my life and yet just just days before I'd been running down the, the very sport. So uh, maybe an apology? Uh, I don't know, probably not. Well, because is it possible that coming on the project we're quite an influential program, maybe pointing out rugby's failings, you know, made this happen? Yeah, because I was saying that the game was a bit slow and there wasn't enough action. And then, you know, Ireland All Blacks, that quarterfinal, it had the, the most minutes of ball in play. No one was kicking it out. It was just all action. It was, it was high scores. High score. It was, it, was, it was the most, it was not only the best game of rugby union of all time, um, that and the, <laughs> uh, the French game. But also potentially the best game of sport ever played of all time. So, <laughs> so I've done a full 180. <laughs> Tell you what, it was pretty exciting watching it on TV. What was it like actually being in Paris? And being in Paris, what a fantastic city. Beautiful, beautiful city. I'm the first person to notice that. Beautiful people. Great buildings. The buildings are amazing. You've got the tower. Oh. You've got the, uh, the, uh, the Notre Dame, which is in a terrible state oh, at the moment. But the, you've got the arch. The Arc de Triomphe, and uh, no, it was, it was so incredible to be to be over there, but um, still heavily jet lagged. Matt, look, I don't really understand rugby. From what I gather, your issue is there's a lot of games, and all the games have really high stakes, and they all matter, and they're all important. Is the issue that there's just too much rugby? The All Blacks are playing too much. Well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, if a, if a game means something, then it is so much more exciting. If you really, really care about your team winning, then it doesn't matter if the game's boring. It just so happened that these games have been incredibly exciting. But if you actually care passionately, sport is actually horrible to watch. If you care about the mm -hmm. result, it's actually painful. It's physically painful. Mm -hmm. Your heart's beating too fast. You're sweating. You're hiding in the corner. You, you feel like Gollum after it. So I think the, the key point, and I, I, look, I'll go, look, I think Super Rugby's got a bit boring, and I stick, I'll stick by that. I'll, I'll stick by that, but um, World Cup Rugby, where it actually counts, of course, is incredibly exciting. Uh, you did allude, but then sort of dodged around it earlier, Matt. Do you owe New Zealand Rugby an official <laughs> apology? Well, let's see if we win. If we win... <laughs> If we win the next two games, I will find Ian Foster wherever he is and I'll kiss him on the mouth. Thank you for your humility and thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you for having me. Always a pleasure. Hello, welcome New Zealand. Welcome to the project. Look, Chris Parker's here. Yeah. Chris, uh, Chris did very well with his rugby question, I thought. Well done. Thank you very much. Brushed up on the terminology. Yeah. Mm. Will you be getting up and watching uh, All Blacks Argentina tomorrow at 8am? I am actually going to go to Wellington to watch WXV, the women's, oh, the women's rugby. competition song at the moment, yeah. But I just thought rugby was rugby. I'm so confused by, like, 15 and 12 and all these different yeah. versions of... The, it's, like, more confusing than, like, the LGBTQ community. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like the That's big, actually, that match tomorrow. That's England and New Zealand. That's the rematch from the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. that'll be huge. But, you know, Argentina, All Blacks, 8am. Oh. How, 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 by the way? Because I don't, I don't watch sport unless the All Blacks have a chance of winning so you don't have I don't Sky. Have Sky. You, you can watch it for free, actually. Um, Sky Open has it, I think, and Stuff oh. has it as well. Yeah. So I can get up tomorrow morning, make yep. myself a nice cup of coffee and watch some free yeah. rugby. OK, but we're on, TV, we're on three at the I moment. I know, don't watch the other <laughs> channel. No. Can I just say, on behalf of our parent company, we've got some great programming on at 8am uh, tomorrow morning. Yep, what do we got? Infomercials on three. Yeah, <laughs> good. Uh, but over on Bravo... Mm. Also infomercials. Yeah. <laughs> don't knock infomercials. Those magic stuff. bullets they are great. They are paying our wages. <laughs>